Hey everyone, welcome to the club. So in today's video, we'll talk about a new patent that Tesla was granted on March 23rd that talks about using pure vision for their self-driving cars. This is really exciting stuff. This talks about how Tesla will eventually get rid of sensors and only use cameras for their full self-driving. Before we get into any detail, if you get anything out of the video, please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, share. I really appreciate your support. So what I have done is I have divided my screen into two parts. On the left is the actual pattern, which I'm going to link it in the description. On the right is my interpretation of what Tesla is trying to achieve. Great. Okay, so before we start, I want to bring out one thing for you guys. In this, um, the patent that, that Tesla just received, it was filed on February 19, 2019, and they, they received it on March 23rd, 2021. Now, if you're familiar with the patent process, once you file a patent, you have one year to make revision, and after that one year, USPTO then basically analyzes it, reads it, and then comes back and basically gives yes, no, or more information kind of decision. That's exactly what happened here. So they had till February 20th, 2020 to make revisions. And then by February 20th, 2020, all the revisions were made. And then they had one year, USPTO that means, has one year to basically go ahead and approves it or denies it or go back for more information. This patent was filed literally last year in 2020. The world has changed in one year. I feel Tesla is much more advanced than what's mentioned in this patent. It's amazing. And there's another very interesting thing in this patent that I'm going to talk about at the end of the video which I think is mind blowing. Okay, so what this, what this patent talks about. So to put it in simple terms, and I'm gonna link this patent in the description, you guys are more than welcome to please go check it out, read, it's really exciting stuff. So this patent basically talks about how Elon Musk's pure vision of FSD is coming into reality. So Musk has mentioned in the comments in the previous months that he will want to use pure vision only and will get rid of sensors uh, for the cars, for their self-driving cars. And this particular pattern basically talks about how close they are in achieving that. Second thing, if I were to describe this pattern in very layman, in very simple terms, that means that this method enables a vehicle to detect and interpret the distance of surroundings using the vehicle's image data and machine learning using just cameras. That's it. That's the pattern is all about. But of course, there is a lot more interesting stuff in the article, which I'm going to go over in just a few minutes. But before that, I'm gonna link another article that basically talks about what machine or, or what pure vision is and how it works in this uh, MIT article or this person in MIT who published this article. I'm going to link in the description. How cool is, 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 is this? So basically, a machine or a camera looks at a Coke can, sees it's a Coke can, and then how it interprets pixel by pixel and then forms an image in its own brain and then tells the machine, hey, this is a Coke can. That's exactly what Tesla is doing and the billions of miles they're collecting are exactly doing that. They are basically recreating these images into the machines. How far is this image of a car by using the sensor and the camera and then depicting, okay, if a car is 10 feet away, this is how it should look like. If a car is, 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 is 25 feet forward, this is how it should look like. Think about it, it's brilliant how they're training and with the millions of billions of miles that they have, they can do that at a speed that nobody else can even catch up to them. Great, so do check this article out, I'm gonna link it, I'm not gonna spend too much time on describing it, but let's come back on the patent. So in the patent, it basically talks about the collected fusion data from the fleet of vehicles is automatically collected and used to train neural nets to mimic the captured data. The trained machine learning model can be deployed to vehicles for accurately predicting object properties such as distance, direction, and velocity using only vision data. This is huge. This is where they talk about using just cameras and no sensors. This is massive. And remember, this was one year ago. So they had one year to basically train their networks and make it even better. So imagine what's possible today at Tesla. This was one year back. This is one year old data that we are reading here. So for example, once the machine learning model has been trained to be able to determine an object distance using image of a camera without a need of a dedicated distance sensor, Key point, without the need of a dedicated distance sensor, it may no longer become necessary to include a dedicated distance sensor in an autonomous driving vehicle. This is great. This is their, where they're talking about just using camera 
nothing else, no sensors, okay? When used in conjunction with a dedicated distance sensor, this machine learning model can be used as a redundant or a secondary distance data source to improve accuracy and or provide fault tolerance. So initially, they are going to be using sensors because it's too new for them to just rely on cameras. They will be using uh, distance sensors, but they are training their neural nets to basically use cameras only, okay? So why is Tesla really want to achieve this technology? Number one, cost. This is going to reduce vehicle costs drastically because now they're not relying on sensors. They're not including the sensors in the car. They're just using the cameras, which is solving multiple purposes in the car, all right? This what brings to my ARK Invest price target that ARK had. So in their price target, ARK basically mentioned that how there will be a neighborhood EV, they're calling it a neighborhood EV for $15,000. Tesla is going to launch a $25,000 car. We already know, I'm sure. You guys have seen the videos on YouTube, a lot of videos talking about a $25,000 car. That's done. But as in my video, which I'm going to link here, I talk about how Tesla needs a cheaper car, cheaper than $25,000, a $15,000 to $16,000 car in markets like India or Southeast Asia, where they're where the most popular car, ICE car, right now costs $10,000. They have to come down, they have to bring the price down to a $15,000 level to be successful in those countries. This is how they're going to do it. They're going to use technology to make things cheaper like all other big companies have. Google has done the same thing. Apple has done the same thing. So these all big companies have relied on technology because code needs to be written once and then it can be deployed to millions. Sensor needs to be installed in all the cars. That's the psyche, right? That's the thinking that they need to solve this through software, not through hardware. And they're going to do that by using cameras. Brilliant here. So now let's come back to the pattern here. The identified object and corresponding properties can be used to implement autonomous driving features such as self-driving or driver-assisted operation of a vehicle. For example, an autonomous vehicle can be controlled to avoid a merging vehicle identified using the disclosed techniques. So this is where they talk about how they are going to implement this in autonomous vehicle. So why is Tesla so keen on getting this right or, or, or approving it? Number two point, level five autonomy is closer than we think. What I'm reading to you here is one year old. Imagine what they have achieved in one year. I think that level five autonomy will be solved by the end of 2021. Then the last thing, autonomous ride hailing network is closer than 2025. I was doubtful like everybody else. We have not seen the product. We have not experienced it. Nobody has felt the being in it. You know, of course, Tesla people have, but we haven't. And I feel that autonomous ride hailing network that ARC is so bullish on is sooner, is going to happen sooner than 2025. This is amazing stuff. This is good stuff. I'm going to link both articles, the patent uh, link, and also the article that talks about how image um, uh, or, or how Pure Vision works in the description. Do check it out and let me know your comments, how you think this is going to affect Tesla, how you think this is going to affect the stock. And I would love to chat with you in the comment section. So that ends our video today. Thank you so much for joining. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.